Namaste, dear students. First of all, I want to welcome you to our English class of grade 9. And today, we are going to learn something new, you know, and it is our last class for unit 6. So for it, I hope you might have been ready with your English textbook, notebook, and pen or pencil. Are you ready with them? Good. If so, today we are going to learn something new. Before starting it, can you tell me what did we learn in our previous class? Yes, you are right. We learned the text about surprising customs on the reading too. Okay, and then we did comprehension exercises. Now, today we are going to learn something under grammar too and writing section. Okay, so for it, you have to be very active. You have to be ready to learn. Now, I want to start our today's class. Our first text is about grammar. Okay, we are going to learn something under grammar too, and that is reported speech. Is this topic familiar to you? Reported speech? Is it or not? Yes, you might have practiced, you might have done, okay, in your junior classes like 8, 7. Now, we are not going to talk about all the different sentences, okay? For reported speech in our today's class and we want to deal with only yes no questions and in this unit in our previous class we already practiced yes no questions now first of all I want to show you examples of reported speech and then I'll show you some from your book examples you know and then we will do the task so we'll see the examples and we try to generate the rules of changing the yes no questions into reported speech. So all of you listen to me and look at the picture very carefully. Shall I start now? Okay. See, did you complete your homeworks? See, here mother asks, did you complete your homeworks? Okay. Another question she asks, do you come from Dulikhel? Now you can see these are called ESNO questions. Why? Can you tell me? We already learned in our previous class. Yes, you are right because we answer with yes or no only. For example, if this question is asked to me, did you complete your homeworks? I can say yes, I did or no, I didn't. Okay, I don't need to add more. And in the next question also, do you come from Dulikhel? I can say yes or no. That's why they are called yes no questions. And in our today's class, we are going to report, okay, yes no questions. Now, what does your mother say? Now, here is the son, and the mother asks this, these two questions, okay, and another person asks this boy, son, what his mother has said, okay? Now, the son reports like this, okay? So, in the first question, he says, my mother asked me if or whether I had done my homeworks. And for another reporting, he has done like this. My mother asked me if or whether I come from Dulikhel. Okay. So, dear students, from here, you can find some ideas. Don't worry. I'll give you more ideas about changing yes no questions into indirect speech. For that one, First of all, I want to show you some examples from your textbook, okay? Dear students, you can look at these yes no questions and then again you have to look at these statements, change into indirect speech, okay? And our here job is, you know, we have to find out the correct reported speech of the particular yes no question. For example, you can see the first one. The new pupil said to me, are you a class captain? Now here in the list, which one is its reported speech, indirect speech? You have to find out and you have to tell me and then I'll write it down here, okay, the number. Next, Samir asked Rohan, have you finished reading my book? You have to find out its uh, indirect form, okay? Next, I asked the teacher, has the book been translated into Nepali? 
Now again you have to find from here. Next, has the boss to Kathmandu already left? I said to a woman next to me. And the last one is, should I write the story again? Borsa asked her teacher. I hope you might have already done. Now can you tell me which number is the correct one here? The new pupil said to me, are you a class captain? Which one is correct? Yes, you are right. See, it is number five. The new people asked me if I was a class captain. So I can write B here, okay, number five. All right, like this next one and we'll discuss some changes here, all right? So B, Samir asked Rohan, have you finished reading my book? Which one is correct now? Wow, number four. Samir asked Rohan whether he had finished reading his book or not. So it is four, okay? Next, I asked the teacher, has the book been translated into Nepali? Which one is correct? You are right again. This is two. I asked the teacher whether the book had been translated into Nepali. So what number do I have to write down here? You are right. Two. And next one, has the boss to Kathmandu already left? I said to a woman next to me. So which number is correct? Which statement here is the correct one? Now, woman to next to me. Yes, it is one. See, I asked the woman next to me if the boss to Kathmandu had already left. Okay, so it is number one. And the last one is which one is left here? All right, should I write the story again? Borsa asked her teacher. Borsa asked her teacher if she should write the story again. Three, dear students, have you found some changes in these sentences and these sentences, they are direct speech, okay? Ask no question, direct speech. And they are indirect speech, reported forms of these ask no questions. Now, can you tell me some changes that you have seen between these two? What are they? All right, you are correct. See, here we have comma, but here we don't have comma. So the basic thing you have to remember while changing yes no question into indirect speech, you have to remove this comma, okay? This is reporting verb and this is statement, okay? And here no comma. So one basic rule, we are not allowed to use comma in indirect form. Next thing, what do you find there? Yes, you are right. We have inverted commas here, see? Quotation marks, yeah? You can find your inverted commas here, but we don't have inverted commas in these indirect forms. So another thing you have to remember is that we are not allowed to use quotation marks or you can say inverted commas, okay? That is another thing. So what another change you can find? Can you tell me? You are right. See, in place of this comma, there is the use of if. There is the use of whether, if whether if you know it means that while changing the yes no questions into indirect speech we have to join with if or whether what are the words if or whether don't forget it okay now not only that much you have to be very careful in changing the tense okay changing the tense for example here see the new people said to me are you a class captain can you tell me which aspect of the present tense this is? Are you a class teacher? Or simply you can say simple present tense. Are you a class captain? Now you can see five. The new people asked me. Now the simple present tense is changed into simple past tense. See, are you? This is changed into was, okay, according to the subject. Is it clear? So another important thing, here also you can find Samir Akshwan, have you finished? Have you finished? Which tense is this? It is present perfect tense and present perfect tense is changed into had finished. Can you tell me what is this? Had finished. So present perfect tense is changed into had finished means past perfect change. Okay. In this question again, you can find has the book been translated? See, it is again in present perfect form. Now you can find here whether the book had been again had translated. It is in passive form, but the tense is present perfect. And we have to change present perfect into past 
perfect. Okay. Next one has the boss to Kathmandu already left. Now here he has and then left. Which tense is this again? Yes, that is present perfect tense and it is again changed into past perfect tense. And in next sentence, should I write the story again? Now should I write? See, there is the use of modal verb, should, okay? And here we have, let's say, Barsa asks her teacher if she should. So modal verbs can be same, but if here is can, can can be changed into could, okay? So it means you have to understand that we have to change the tense also while changing s no questions into indirect speech. Have you got some ideas? That's good. Then after you should not forget, see, Samir asks Rohan, have you? Now you means who? See, have you finished reading my book? Now therefore, Samir asked Rohan whether he, now this, uh, for example, you means who? Rohan. Now it is reported. That's why you should be changed according to Rohan. Rohan is a boy, okay? And for boy, we have to use he. That's why we have here he okay we have here uh, he is it clear so dear students after looking at these examples you have to understand that we should not use comma we have to remove their quotation marks or inverted commas we have to change the subject and object in the indirect form according to the subject here in the reporting part okay and another important thing is that we have to change tense now for tense from which tense to which tense you have to change i want to write it down here you also please note it down in your notebook okay change of tense c h a n g e change of tense t e n s e tense in indirect speech indirect speech okay now if we have simple present tense s i m p l e simple present now can you tell me it should be changed into simple past you are correct s i m p l e simple past now if it is present continuous present continuous if it is present continuous c o n t i n u o u s continuous can you tell me Yes, it should be changed into past continuous. P A S T C O N T I N U O U S continuous. If it is present perfect, P R E S E N T present perfect, P E R F E C T perfect, we have to change into what is it? Good job. Past perfect, P A S T past, P E R F E C T perfect. Now, if it is present perfect continuous, P R E S E N T, P E R F E C T continuous, C O N T I N U O U S, then can you guess? Okay, you are right again. Past perfect continuous, P A S T past, P E R F E C T perfect continuous, C O N T I N U O U S. Dear students, from here you have to understand that if the s no question is in present form in different aspects, you have to change into past form in the similar aspects. If it is simple present, simple past. If it is in present continuous, past continuous. If it is in present perfect tense, then you have to past perfect. And if the yes no question is in present perfect continuous, then you have to change into past perfect continuous. For the statements and for WH questions also, you have to follow the same tense rules. Okay. Now, have you written in your notebook? Good. If so, now I want to write down if here is simple past, what do you do? In what tense do you change? Okay. Let me erase it. Now. Our sentence is in simple past. Simple past. Now can you tell me, in which tense do we have to change? You are right. We have to change into past perfect. P-E-R-F-E-C-T. Perfect. If it is past continuous, past C-O-N-T-I-N-U-O-U-S continuous, then what is it? 
you have to change into past perfect continuous okay past perfect continuous c o n t i n u o u s and if it is past perfect past perfect what tense now past perfect should be changed into past perfect no change of tense okay it remains past perfect p e r f e c t and if it is past perfect continuous past p e r f e c t perfect continuous c o n t i n u o u s can you tell me now you are right this is also same tense no change okay past perfect continuous okay c o n t i n u o u s continuous now you have to understand if there are modal verbs used in our asno question you have to change in their past form into their past form for example it can be can c a n can it can be for example may okay so you can change like or it can be will you know so they can be changed like could c o u l d could might m i g s t might w o u l d would okay but if we have already would should might are used as the modal verbs then you can use the same forms is it clear all of you if so these are very important you know if you don't understand to change from the particular tense into another one then you cannot do reported speech okay you cannot change into indirect speech that's why you have to keep these all in your mind now we are going to practice some more so you all be ready dear students now we are going to do a task that is change the following sentences into indirect speech so the first one we have in a rahul said to me did you watch the cricket match on tv last night so you have to first find out in which tense this is no question is rahul said to me here is reporting verb is in past tense and here also did simple past tense so this is the question you know as no question so said reporting verb is changed into asked so for your label you can write down asked for the questions okay so you can say all of you tell me please r a h u l rahul asked me now do i need to write down here comma no that's good then what do i write here what do you yes you are right rahul asked me if you can write if or you can write down whether okay w a c t h e r whether rahul asked me if or whether now did you watch the cricket match on tv last night so you have to find out it is in past tense now you have to show the relation this you you and me so you have to change this you according to this object okay because rahul asked to me so you should be changed according to the object so what can be the correct one so while changing as no question we are not allowed to write verb first so we have to change it into a statement so first of all we have to write down subject so according to the object if i want to change you then what should it be you are right it should be i okay i now did you simple past tense now all of you look at your notebook and tell me simple past should be changed into yes it should be changed into past perfect if or whether i had i had watched w a t c h e d was c did you watch it changed into i had watched so in our statement form reporting form first of all we have to write down here subject we should not write down here verb in our direct speech there is did and then you but when we change it into indirect form so first of all we have to write down subject then only we have to write down verb okay i had watched the cricket match the c r i c k e t cricket and then match m a t c h match then what is there on tv yes on tv now last night adverbial okay that tells us time so last night 
it changed into the previous night. So if we have last night, yesterday, you know, last day, we can change into the previous night, previous day, okay? This is what you have to do. So the main thing now you have to understand is that you have to join with with or whether, and then you have to write down first subject, then you have to write down verb, and then you have to change the tense according to the rules that I have already given to you, okay? And then we have to change some adverbials if there are, okay? Is it clear? Have you got the idea? Okay. Dear student, now I want to do next one and rest of the ones you have to do yourselves, okay? B, so what's the question there? Are you coming home with me? He said. C, the question is, are you coming home with me? He said. Now you tell me, what do I need to write down here? Are you, all of you tell me please, it is given in your textbook. Are you coming, C-O-M-I-N-G, coming? Are you coming home with me? H-O-M-E, home. W-I-T-S, with me. He said. He said. Now you have to change it into indirect speech. So what do you do? You try to write it down in your notebook and you tell me what is the correct indirect form of this s no question. Now tell me all of you please. Okay, it should be he a-S-K-E-D asked me. Now, yes, no question. So if it is yes, no question, we have to join with if or whether. Any one word you can use, okay? He asked me if. Now, are you? You means who? I am listener. So it should be changed into I, subject, subjective case, okay? So you should be changed into I. See? While changing into indirect speech, first of all, we have to write down subject, as I have already told you. Now, are you coming home with me? Are you coming? It is in present continuous tense. Now, you have to change into good job, past continuous. He asked me if I was coming home, then with. Now, me. Here is object. Me means who? Me means you are. Me means, uh, let's say he. He said, are you coming with me? So it means that this me is related to he. Okay. It is, uh, this me is not related to you. This me is related to he. That's why me should be changed according to this subject. So our objective case for me is him, okay? H I M him. Your answer should be he asked me if I was coming home with him. So have you got the idea? Here, see, we are not using quotation marks. We are not using, for example, comma here is not because after question mark, you know, and we are not using question mark also. So we have to change into statement form. So there should be if or whether, then subject. Then according to the tense, we have to change here. And then if we have to change some subject or object according to subject or object used in the reporting part, then your answer will be correct. Now, I want to give you one more example. For example, we can find here, see, in the first also, the reporting verb is past tense. And here also the reporting verb, he said, is in past tense. Dear students, here is a small letter, okay? You have to write down. A uh, small letter here, he, H E he. Now you have to think uh, some things, you know, here, first of all, you have to join with if or whether, one important thing. Another thing, always indirect speech starts with subject. So you have to change into statement form and you have to join with if or whether. And then you should not forget the change of tense. See here, it is present continuous tense and we have changed it into past continuous tense. All right. And here, this he is related to he, the person who is asking. That's why we have to find out suitable objective case, and that is him. Is that clear? Now, I am going to talk one more thing. Here, the reporting verb is said. It is in which tense? All right, that is simple past tense. Now, if this verb, reporting verb, is in simple present tense, then what do you do? Do we change the tense here in indirect speech? 
This is the question for you. What do you think? Do we change or not? Okay, don't worry. Let me show you another example. So another example we have in F, okay? The question is, it is in F, rest of you can do. So another question we have in F. So the question is, USA says, U-S-H-A, -S USA, S-A-Y-S says, then what is it? Can you solve the problem, okay? Can you solve the problem? P-R-O-B-L-E-M, problem. Now, you have to be very careful. The reporting Bob is in present tense. So what do you do? Okay, let me write it down. You all tell me, please. Usa ask, okay? Usa, A-S-K-S, ask. Because it is in simple present tense. So we have to write down in simple present tense. So whether or if, same. You can use if or whether, W-H-E-T-H-E-R, whether. Now, if this reporting Bob is in present tense, we should not change the tense. In which tense, the question is here in direct space, the same tense is used in the indirect space. Now, don't be confused, okay? If the reporting Bob is in simple past tense, we have to change the tense according to the rules that I have given to you. If the reporting Bob is in simple present tense, then the tense remains the same. The tense does not change. Now, Usa asks me, okay, me, whether, now, first of all, you have to write down subject, okay? You means listener. So you have to change into I. I, now it is can. So no change of tense. Write the same tense. I can solve the problem. See? I can solve the problem. Now, no question mark. Full stop. Dear students, now you have to be very careful regarding this point. If the reporting Bob is past tense, you have to change the tense. If the reporting Bob is in present tense or you can say future tense, at that time you should not change the tense. Rest of the rules are same. Have you got the ideas? Good. If so, now I want to give you rest of the task to do at your home in your free time. Okay? So is that clear to you? Now, I have one more task for you. This is C, and we have here, imagine that you met a friend after two years. He or she asked you the following questions. Reply to them. Now here, you have to just answer, okay? So your answer can be yes or no. That's why they are called yes, no question. You don't need to change them into indirect speech. Just answer in yes or no. Are you fine? If you are yes, yes. If not, no. Next, how is your family? How is your family? My family is fine in this way. Have you had breakfast? Yes or no? What are you doing now? Okay, this is you can just write down reading, writing, okay? Are you playing chess or not? Yes or no? Do you need any good books? Can you share your future plan? Why don't you come to meet me? Now, one more home assignment for you that is change the following sentences into indirect speech. Now you all can copy these questions as soon as possible. Dear students, now we have another part that is writing to. Under it, we are going to write down essay writing. And in our previous class also, we wrote an essay on the topic, our culture, our pride. So you know the different types of essays, you know the parts of essay, and you know the steps of essay. Now here is a question. See, you have learned about some unusual and interesting customs and cultures of the world like slurping, tipping, you know. Nepal is also rich in its unique customs and cultures. Write an essay on any one of the unique customs using the given outlines. Now think that you have unique custom in your society. And what is it? You have to write down based on the given outlines. For example, introduction, time to celebrate, historical and cultural values, community of observing it, activities of celebration, your opinions, conclusion. Now, I want to give you an example. See, in my society, I have newer community, you know, and in their community, there is a unique custom that is Bel Bibaha. Have you heard it? Bel Bibaha. Now, I want to write down an essay on Bel Bibaha. So first of all, what do I have to do? Yes, I have to generate the ideas. Generate the ideas means I have to list out the ideas related to topic 
that I get in my mind. For example, I can say Bel Bibaha. B I B A H A Bel Bibaha. Then what can be another idea? It is also called Ihi. Ihi in Newari language. N E W A R I Newari. L A N G U A G E language. Then what else? I can find it. It is done for girls. G I R L S girls. Before B E F O R E before puberty P U B E R T Y puberty. More ideas. What can I get? See, I can get that it is done. Let's say in odd years, like five odd years, Y E A R S years, like five, seven, nine. Okay, before puberty, or you can say before menstruation. Then what else? They marry with the bail, okay? Marry, marry with the bail. Do you know the meaning of bail? Bail means it is a wild fruit. Wild fruit. F R U I T fruit. Now, bail is taken as the symbol of God Vishnu. Bail, symbol of S Y M B O L, symbol of the Lord. Lord B I S H N U Vishnu. Okay, then what else? So, why do they marry with the bell? It remains R E M A I N S, remains pure, P U R E, pure and chest, C H A S T E, chest. Okay, so now I can get more ideas, dear students. If there is any unique custom in your society. First of all, you have to also write down the ideas related to the topic and then you have to develop these ideas into your full sentences. For example, I can do Bel Bibaha, B-E-L-B-I-B-A-H-A, Bibaha is prevalent, P-R-E-B-A-L-E-N-T, prevalent in Newar, N-E-W-A-R, Newar community, C O M M. M U N I T Y community. Now next, ihi. You can again develop another sentence. It is also called. It is called C A L L E D called E H I ihi or it can be E H E E also. Okay, ihi in Newari N E W A R I Newari L A N G U A G E language. See, I have developed this line. Now you can develop this line. Only the girls marry to the bell. Okay, only the girls, only the girls, G I R L S girls, marry to to the bell bell before their B E F O R E before their puberty. P U B E R T Y puberty. See, now like this you can, they marry in their odd years, like in 5 years, 7 years, 9 years, 11 years, you know. This is how you have to develop the ideas. And after introduction part, then in the body part, you have to write some more ideas. And finally, you have to write down your conclusion. Dear students, see, uh, oh, this should be bell only, okay, B-E-L. Dear students, this is how you have to follow the steps. So it means that while writing essay, first of all, generate the ideas related to the topic, develop them into full sentences, and in next step, you just edit them, correct them if there is any mistake. And finally, you can write down essay. This is how you have to practice at your home in your free time. Is it clear, all of you? If so, don't forget to write an essay on unusual custom in my society okay so after this you can do a project work this is the picture shows the elements of a culture choose a culture design a similar picture and explain it to the class this is your project work, okay dear students i hope you might have better understood about reported speech and writing an essay i hope you might have fully engaged and enjoyed our enjoyed our today's class it's all for today have a beautiful time Goodbye.